everybody and welcome back to the channel and welcome to the first mini review uh, that I've done in quite a while um, I wanted to do a standalone review of this particular movie because I've been looking forward to watching it uh, for quite a while now um, it's called One Night Rental it is set in Alfreton, Derbyshire uh, which is just down the road from me um, it's set in an 80s video shop. I'll read the back, uh, which will tell you everything you need to know. Rob and Chris own a video shop, but when local gangster Clarence donates videotapes con containing unspeakable evil, the duo get entangled in a dangerous game. Now they must navigate eccentric customers and escape the clutches of organised crime. I really, really enjoyed this way more than I thought I would. Um, the cast are largely unknown. Um, the standout performances for for me on this was Rob Lane as the uh, the video shop owner and Rick Malin as a Vinnie Jones style gangster, very reminiscent of Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels. He relishes every evil moment of his role and he does it really, really well, plays it so well. Um, I enjoyed this. This movie has got um, cult, it, it's basically got festival hit written all over it cult movie written all over it um, they've also got uh, their first festival nomination um, and if they get through when they get through that um, they then uh, think the next stage is at Pinewood Studios I mean how exciting is that um, the soundtrack on this is absolutely brilliant especially the um, I would say the uh, the track over the beginning and end titles uh, which I believe are performed by a band led by Rob Lane um, I just thought this was immense fun to watch. Um, it is obviously a passion project and it shines through. Um, everybody on this, this movie, the cast and the crew, are having great fun. They all love what they're doing and it definitely shows. Um, and as for the ending, <laughs> I did not see that coming, absolutely not. I mean, how can you not love a movie that describes Top Gun as planes and shit? I thought this was absolutely superb. Um, I'm definitely going to give this an 8 out of 10. I would highly recommend you grab a copy of this if you can. Um, it is a, basically for sale at the 80s video shop. Um, which to me was the uncredited star of the movie. Is actually the video store. Especially for somebody like me who worked um, at a VHS library for many years um, in the 80s. This was had to me had a real nostalgia hit. I loved every second of it. Um, as I say, everybody plays it to the hilt. Um, the plot is very basic, but who the hell cares? Everybody's having great fun what, um, making this, and I had brilliant fun watching it. So I would definitely give this an eight out of ten. Highly recommended. Um, grab a copy if you can. Get the popcorn and the beers in, and your mates, you'll have a great fun. You'll have a great time with this one. Thanks ever so much for joining me for this mini review. I will talk to you all again soon, hopefully with another one. Take care, everybody. Ta-da.